Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is March 22nd, 2022. It's 22, 2022. Hello, everybody. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show green room, great room navigator. Thank you so much for joining us here on another, for another, really, great night. Hi. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do a show here in, uh, in, in a little bit, but we're going to get everybody warmed up. Go take you into the green room so you can feel green and great and good and good and great and good. That's coming up. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the guys on that trip. The guys what just went on a big trip. We've got the monster match back finally in a minute. Uh, we're going to talk about all sorts of good stuff coming up. But I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm simply going to take you into the green room. Let's see. Can the green room hear me? Morning. Hello. Hello. We've reached orbit. Yay. Uh, hello, Green Room. <sighs> Hi, hello. Bryce. Hi. Hi, Bryce. Hello, Bryce. Bryce, what's your favorite color? Uh, I like gray. Is that depressing? Uh, no, 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 no. Why, why is gray the superior color, and why yeah. are other colors inferior? It why are you in favor of gray power? It, yeah, mm, why is gray better than, I don't know, I really, brown? I really wish I could find the thing I'm looking for so I can get out of this conversation. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he found the gray button. See you in a few minutes, Green Room. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Way to use that gray button. matter. Uh, <laughs> that noggin of yours. That's the brain. What the brain? What a what a what a what a wonderful wild world. ride the last two and a half weeks have been. Yeah. Remember when we were gonna go to Vegas and then we didn't? didn't? Yeah, because of COVID, we COVIDed out. Sure, let's blame. Why didn't you just send me to Vegas? That's like that's like yeah. You know what? Remember when they convicted the knife of murdering OJ's wife? (laughs) (laughs) That's a very guilty knife. Wait, (laughs) me? I'm OJ. I'm just saying. No, I'm OJ. COVID was the knife. No, I'm OJ. I, COVID was the knife that murdered Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. If I did it, no, it was it was another character that I named that got COVID at Orange Theory. We're still looking. <laughs> yeah, yes. at Orange Theory. Yeah. I mean, you can see Justin's golfing every day, looking for the I'm real, looking for the real for contagion. The real contagion. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, I read an article a while back and they said, hey, vaccines are great, but if you drink heavily, your immune system is really wrecked. Like, you know, like you're you're not going to have your immune system. And, and I, don't I don't know. Like we, went, news. Yeah. we went out, we uh, went out the other. news. Boo. We, we went out to celebrate a certain release and then uh, somebody had, uh, oh, was okay. really right. celebrating. I was, I was at the fucking gym. I got it at the fucking gym. Okay. Okay. You got it at the gym. I wasn't drinking there. Well, I don't know. I don't This gets back to this, like the COVID <laughs> truther thing yeah. of like whether or not I got it at Saturday. But if I got it on Saturday, then you guys should have gotten it on Saturday. We're all in the same room. Uh, okay. Ho- ho- hold on. Re- re- real quick thing? side jack. Uh, uh, pit, pit, <laughs> pin and all oh, of I'm sorry. I didn't know you. I, 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 don't, I don't quite remember you teetotaling. Uh, uh, in, oh. No. Uh, pin in <laughs> this. Let's go back to Orange Theory. And, yeah, the and, Orange and Theory. A mm. thing that I haven't seen that I think I would be all the way into yeah. is uh, 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 go to a liquor store, buy Smirnoff vodka, pour it all out. Uh, fill it with water and just just work out really hard and just just, just, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and be like I just gotta I just gotta dehydrate real quick. Yeah. Dehydrate. That would be pretty. F- I mean, you would definitely get some looks. This is true. Yeah, yeah, You'd get you some would. looks, especially at Orange Theory. They they probably cheer you on over at uh, what's the other one. The uh, blue theory? The, no, the, the, <laughs> I mean, see, it would have been great blue if theory. I would have remembered CrossFit. Thing. CrossFit. Uh, CrossFit. Yeah, I don't know. They would be like, yeah, more. I don't know. You might. I don't think any of them would necessarily. Uh, I, I think you, very quickly you would be pressured to be like, oh, it's a gag, bro. Yeah. yeah. Smell my smell my sky bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you mean sky? Smell my sky, sky yeah. bottle. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Would you do a flavor? What's the funniest fake vodka bottle you could bring into uh, a, a a gym and swig from it while you're just pomegranate? Well, wa- pomegranate. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, yeah. Ew. 
I think whipped cream. Uh, the whipped cream vodka. Do yeah. they have whipped cream? Oh, fuck yes, yeah. They, they got like That's cupcake nasty. flavors. It's been a while since you've been to a bachelorette whatever, party. Yeah. <laughs> I have never. Do you want to know bachelorette parties didn't come into play until after I got married and all my friends got married? That's so, true. Like, Wait, they when really weren't again? a thing. Nobody was a bachelorette until after it was too late. That was it. No, I mean, they just really didn't. Nope. They, yeah, I agree. So uh, I'm so glad you said that because I've always wondered uh, uh, when it became like the, the the bachelorette party industrial complex, right? Where it is now here in Austin, where there are constantly bachelorette parties. Oh, yeah. here in oh Vegas, no, it is constant a, bachelorette parties. Speaking of which, we we were we were walking now. across a bridge, and there was what looked like a bachelorette party. I eventually figured out that it said birthday girl or whatever, uh. but what all girls, and one of the girls turned. It's only me and Justin, right. two middle-aged men walking, and and one of them says, "I hope you have a wonderful evening." <laughs> Let me also set the scene. Here. <laughs> I don't know Let me also set means. the scene. It's even weirder than I he know. says. Yeah, it's even weirder than he says. <laughs> Because also the people that were walking by us before was a family with a stroller <laughs> and, a and a toddler and a toddler and second interstate highway we are, we are, we are <laughs> yes we are walking between <laughs> Caesar's fuck? Palace Why are you all and the Rio. Okay, so this is in Vegas. <laughs> all right, right, so, right. so literally, no, this Vegas. is the yeah. Vegas trip. Yeah, I'm there is going, like in Dripping Springs. I mean, <laughs> no, where are we no, talking? No, no, about? no. So we're walking between <laughs> Caesar's Palace and the Rio, yeah. and so that is. Over the highway that separates oh. the strip from the rest of Vegas. Okay. Right. And so it's like this family and then the birthday girl who was like dressed like a to, to go party in like, Vegas. Yeah. Like, like we thought she was a bachelorette. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, uh, uh, yeah. But yet was walking between the Rio. Like, uh, like, come on. If you got that kind of crew, you can't spring for the Uber. Anyway, mm. uh, uh, it, it was it was a weird Maybe it was not. a weird scene. Anyway, my point with the bachelorette parties is that every time I've asked younger women, like, hey, when did this become? Like, is there like a year where all of a sudden it was like we're going on a destination trip for this thing? And they're all like. Oh no, bachelorette parties have always been a thing. No, but thank you, because I don't fucking no. remember it always being a thing. Maybe no. bridesmaids, maybe bridesmaids made it. Uh, you know, it seems like have. they. I mean, because because women. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, Hold on, yeah. man, that needs to be a drop. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Just to yeah. press a uh, button. I tell you what, because women. of everything women. That you say, I will say right after you. And I'm sure yeah. it'll sound exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> we got the bridal shower. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so that we was had small, the, a gathering. We had the little tea party sure. there fucking we go. shit with the, yeah. uh, so so, so there is an occasion where it's all supervised by the mothers and they come in with their little tea cakes and sandwiches and then and then that's the party. And is maybe your, maybe there's bloody marys or mimosas it, or something. Right. There's mimosas, there's no mimosas, bloody, no bloody marys. Finally we live no, in the world no where marys. it's like bachelorettes want to get nasty. Yeah, oh no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's right. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the uh, uh, these bachelorettes are <laughs> wild. wild. <laughs> Rachel, but then, Rachel uh, but here's, is here <laughs> off camera. Yeah, uh, and, but but saying yeah, the girls gone wild are the ones getting married now. Exactly, and at some point, it was the party city industry that wait the lobbied. same people that do like plastic pigs and oh, balloons? plastic pigs and balloons, and plastic now pigs. fake penises yeah. Yeah. to wear on your head and then necklaces mail. and fake. Penises to go on cakes, and so I also because like, it was real penises, that would yeah, be really weird. weird. That's that would a different be really, word. really. I know. I know. We need to get Bryce. Can we get Bryce? We get the the uh, the edible dick company. <laughs> <laughs> Really took off when they figured out they could edible sell edible dick industry. <laughs> the <laughs> the big edible dick, yes. <laughs> the B-E-D. nasty bachelorette. What's B E D got the in? The edible dick company. <laughs> yes. I showed well, cakes it, on screen, it, it, and I don't it, think I'm allowed to show these, but just yeah. very briefly. <laughs> <It's all laughs> you guys are missing out. It is really. to eat that cake. It, it, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's all fun and games until the edible dick magnate buys your local newspaper. That's exactly it. <laughs> the tip. <laughs> just yeah, just the tip, guys. So anyway. <laughs> uh, so so you were so you were saying like like when would you pinpoint the the moment when the bachelorette parties became think, like the thing? I think it was happening about the year. So this would have been over twenty years ago. It, people were starting to talk. So nine eleven. 11 Are we saying nine eleven? Yeah, 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 nine eleven. Nine eleven. So what we're happened. talking nine eleven, yeah. and yeah. then every single green room. Every she single said twenty God. years ago. Every single name a funnier. Th- oh, I'm sorry. The start. It was at the start of the Iraq War. Like, like where else are we looking? <laughs> was it, for? Was, was it the, the summer of the shark? Yeah. <laughs> it was the summer of the shark. It was. Yes, seven sharks bit off seven <laughs> sharks. Oh, no, the edible dick company. Seven shark bit off seven dongs. Yeah. And thus was born the age of the edible dick. Yeah, edible dick was formed that day. A Voltron of phalluses. Se- seven sharks for seven women. Seven women for seven men. All of them going to Saint Ides. Seven dicks yes. and a shark. Oh my God. Anyways, so that's a thing. But I did not get a bachelor party. Would you like one? We'll, 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 we can oh! have one. <laughs> <laughs> you just said a thing. <laughs> can you have a bachelorette party? That would be fucking great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're already here in Austin. I do. That's where fucking I mean, all the, the bachelorettes come. It's true. You it should go to Nashville true. just to fucking mix it up. <laughs> I think so. You want to go? You want to go with I me? Never had a party either. Yeah. I never had one. I would, oh. We can have a joint one. Oh. I love it. And I'll just, we'll wear fake I'll penises on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our little crowns. <laughs> Put EK in her I'll, discomfort I'll, I'll, I'll zone. I'll take care of the on. children. <laughs> <Go with them>. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Like, well, you're, no, because you your mother start, went to Nashville yeah. because she wanted to play some instruments. Uh, <laughs> No, this could be the new thing is it's, that for 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 everybody generational own. gap like you get your bet you still get a bachelorette like party. They're bachelor like reparation. <laughs> okay, oh. I got a thing on this. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, oh. All right. Oh man. Uh, uh, so uh, I had uh, a bachelorette party, okay. but all we did was eat sushi and go get dessert because I didn't I was too scared to do the other stuff. Yeah. So I too need a redo on a bachelorette. Party. Oh my God. What is There's happening? There's a snowball. What is happening? happening? Bachelor reparations. <laughs> <laughs> they are fucking happening right now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's, let's spell this yeah. out here. Okay. Uh, 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 a bachelorette party. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are, what are, what are you guys, what are you guys going to play some risk? Yeah. A little magic, the gathering. <laughs> what? One of those like bicycle bars? Peloton, oh, the, the oh, bicycle bar. Like, the the yeah. Uh, 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 Br- yeah. Bryce, Bryce, can we get the 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 uh, the wireless the wireless, mic? please? Yeah, we need that. You just uh, need because that. now this has turned into you're, a full the, yeah, I know, like meeting planning. <laughs> She's like, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. Yeah. So so definitely the the bicycle bar. Just, uh, uh, like this. okay. There so, we go. so there we go. if we do it as a vowel renewal. So then you could be yeah, like, yeah. I'm about to renew my vows, but before I do, I'm going to get freaky. <laughs> Rachel has the mic now. I do. I yes. have the mic. Yeah, Rachel like Rachel has the mic. So, uh, all right. So, so what, 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 is, what is stop dick. one? What is, like, like yeah. do, do you do a, a, a drink before? Oh, I don't. I don't I know. It, what do you think? Let, stay in Austin. Let's say oh, Austin. Yeah. Okay. Austin already, makes it easy. You already got it. You already got it here. Sure. Uh, so is it a... Drinks before dinner, or you start with dinner? I mean, we're responsible adults now. So you Let's have drink. some, like, a base layer, and then we put the alcohol Okay, on sure. It. Yeah. All right. And then the edible dick. Well, the- <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Is I was prepared for you to stop at the word edible. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, edibles. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Preparation party, <laughs> edible, comma, dick. <laughs> it, it is a like, 30 milligram <laughs> edible dick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so, so dinner, like, what, what do you think? It's something light, like, I mean, because no, like, fucking uh, steak, no. give oh, me some yeah. Yeah. okay. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I'm know. at the meat. I'm, 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 I'm thinking bachelor party. 
things. And, and so I, I would have said See? stink for a bachelor party, but I don't know about a bachelorette. See, don't, fucking don't. women or yeah. whatever I said. Wow. The women because party. women. Here, let me, let me, no, no, <laughs> <you're> the, <laughs> fucking women. <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. You're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say it. I'm going to apologize That's to the stream right word. now. That's I'm very fucked not, up. I'm just it's very fucked up. She said. This is a teachable I, moment. Okay. And I hope you learn. <laughs> but I, I just, just don't know why we have to have yeah. cucumber sandwiches all the time. No, fucking it's, oh. it's not the bridal party. We are eating the fucking meat. Right. We want it sloppy. We, we want it gravy dripping juices. We want gravy our, dripping we want our, juices. We want our cucumbers intact. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So you go, you, you roll into Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Yes. yes. And you say, listen, yes. I want you to. Got, you got, you got the reservation. You got the resi in. Right. You're walking right, right in. Uh, You're already in the outfits. Yes. Got the tennis shoes with the the, the veil. And yeah. Then, and, sure. and, and, and so yeah. you walk in, you order the forty four ounce porterhouse, uh-huh. and you say, uh, "Here is a, a, a stencil. Uh, I need you to cut it out." Only want edible dicks on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I and I and I want pasta. You have some edible dick pasta. Oh and, I, and, and, and I want all the outlines to make an exclamation point. <laughs> Yes. Sure. That's so good. Yep. That, that's the start. All right. So steak. Steak dick. Steak dick. <laughs> steak dick. Some 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 dick pasta. Uh, dick pasta. Yeah. Sure. Now now at that point, bar bar crawl. No no no. It's the the. It's the, 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 the Bicycle it's thing. the bicycle. Okay, yeah, the, the bicycle, bicycle thing. Tiki hut. I, okay, I question, agree. question, the question. Fun. I've heard who, those are terrible. Who do you I want? Oh, really? <laughs> who do you want running? <laughs> steak. I'll be so heavy. I know. Oh, it sounds awful. Genu- no, because you guys are just question. meeting Rachel. Like this is already a thing that I know Rachel would not like at all. <laughs> My crotch hates a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> what kind <Right>. of bicycle <laughs> uh, seat are we riding? <laughs> question, question. When you're on the the pub crawl. Who yes. do you want tending bar? Do you want it to be like like a, 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 a female, a male, a, a doughy middle aged uh, dad, or or like just I'm a right jacked, <laughs> ripped <laughs> Peloton guy who's just wearing you know, nothing sh- but a bow tie? Okay, all yeah. right. Well, we have an answer, <laughs> and right. he has to yeah. sit on the bicycle seat as well. I wonder if there is a market for that for for. Like the bachelor parties here is like studly bartender man on the bar bikes. Oh, oh lady, I know, don't know. No, we're talking about bachelorette. This is the bachelorette, bachelorette industrial complex. Yeah, you know that's, <laughs> that's right. bachelor rep. The the uh, uh, the guy that did the party it does bachelorette parties and and bridal does showers and everything. He does. <laughs> Wait, the so guy that cute. did the is party? The party, Nick? the 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 um, art opening. The art opening. Yes, so that's his. You know, his thing. the thing you've been working on for yeah. four years straight. That's right. right. Oh, by the way, which went fantastically. Let, let's catch ah! everybody up. Uh, we yeah. all went to Bonnie's uh, 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 big celebration uh, for her yes. installation. Uh, and it was awesome. We uh, everybody so showed much. up. It was fucking amazing. Oh, it was. It was a great turnout. They were like, uh, when I went in, I was I like, crashed oh. a car. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Brian even like got wrecked, you know. <laughs> he got wrecked. Got wrecked. <laughs> he literally got wrecked. wrecked literally it. got wrecked with my kids in the car. Well, so. b- before before we get to that, yeah, uh, uh, let's answer the question that I'm sure everybody has in their mind. Yeah, you were very excited to have a beer sponsor. I was. Yes, you went and picked up beer, and, I did. and it was distributed at the show. Yeah, but as Brian pointed out. Hmm. You are you are your father's daughter. You love yeah, free shit. I do love free How shit. How much free beer did you bring back? I brought like all but the ones y'all drank. <laughs> so- <laughs> <laughs> I also took some wine because I was expecting like a couple of people that I know only drink wine, and I'm like, well, I can't be a dick and only take wine for edible like dick. my clients. Yeah, edible dick. <laughs> I so I took uh so I took a little extra, and then all anybody had was wine and maybe a few ciders, which were also donated. So we had e ciders. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, and then uh, uh, so the local the local breweries really represent. The art twisted uh, X, and, and so yeah, you twisted have a X? shit ton of McGonaghy's now. Yeah, so now Twisted X is funding the uh, the beer drinking at our I'd next just like event. To point out though, <laughs> with all that beer yeah. in the fridge, uh, there is a uh, a pre show tradition mm-hmm. that we go and grab. 
beer. Hey, what kind of beer did you get? Yeah. Oh, McConaughey's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got a fridge full. Yeah, I didn't even know, know we had a fridge full. Okay. Yeah, no, right. seriously, there's know. like two levels. And by the way, like, uh, this is like when it's Christmas Day and your mom gets you a Nintendo so that you don't need to go to the arcade anymore. <laughs> and it's just like, well, that you're, you're half, Can half I go to the right. Arcade now? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, no, and as your man Jeff points out, y'all are about to have like a gigantic event. Oh here, yeah. Like, there yeah. will be no there will be no want for random beer being Yeah, about. so everybody will get to taste and there will be plenty of uh people who will get to enjoy the sponsor. So but you I'm also not have worried to hide about it. like some though. Huh? You have to hide some. You're still yeah. going to hide some. Oh. Bonnie's Absolutely. personal stash. Sure. My stash. <laughs> no, have all and you got you got like to be really in and like be like donating monetarily to Bonnie's bachelor reparation. So, so bo- bo- <laughs> Bonnie has Bonnie has all of her uh, clay vessels, like all all throughout stored uh, in the sound sa- sound stage. I would love to believe that, like months from now, there'll be some moment that we're just casually talking and without breaking eye contact, she'll like reach Sweet into <laughs> one of the vessels <laughs> and a- pull, pull out of the cone. Frosty cold. Yeah, ready. Exactly. <laughs> the beautiful How'd thing is, do that? Brian's going to forget we had this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. This is, this is brilliant. I love it. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Secret, oh, done. Shit. That's secret the beer. Best. Even um, better, the secret beer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Shirt. Awesome. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? this That's is from oh, but Eurovision. Awesome. Eurovision. Awesome. Those are the guys who uh, also they eat their vegetables and they also Oh eat. yeah, no, no, no. It, it, it was it, when, when I wake up, I eat veggies and pussy. So I didn't know what I was in for, and I oh, like, YouTubed is? randomly, and that's the like only clip I saw was exactly that. And yeah. like, here I am. And, <laughs> I'm gonna go change Welcome. clothes. I'll be right back. Uh, by the way, thank you for supporting me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Only been doing this over ten years, Rachel. So he gets. There's always so It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. Uh, so oh shit, Brian left. I was gonna turn it into oh, a Brian think, conversation, but fuck it. I think uh, Bryce is donning the awesome. I hear the. Yeah. No, yeah, Brian's having there's... a personal conversation uh, with Bryce. I mean, oh, he's just like um, what? No. No. Not you? He's, I don't know yeah. where oh, he is. oh, maybe he's he's maybe he's putting it on. Himself. He's putting on yeah. off he's just stage. yelling into the mirror. Himself? Yeah. Oh no. He's well, like, he's he like fucking Willem too. Dafoe as the Green Goblin. He's just having a full conversation <laughs> as one person. Nobody <laughs> likes you. Uh, so when uh, we were in Vegas, uh, uh, have you ever known your husband to be a uh, sports fan? No, no, <laughs> no. And in fact, we might be married because he's not. Because he's not a sports fan, right? So, so, so right. growing up, the sports fans that you knew were were not people that you would imagine spending the rest of your right. life with. There may have been hats and dip, yeah, and a lot of talk about balls, yeah. And so, Brian, an artist and and someone like that, you were you had more of a connection. He still with. talks about his balls. Well, he talks about his balls. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, in but sexy. in a sexier way. So, uh, not in the. What does that sound like? What is? <laughs> Ooh, my edible balls. <laughs> you a ghost? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the picture that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what what if I were to tell you that I, I don't know if your husband is now yeah. a sports fan, oh, but I do now know that he is a sports better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian took to sports betting in a way that I, I I could have only dreamed. Oh, really? In Vegas this oh, time. Oh no way! Oh yeah, no. So we're in Vegas the first day, and uh, we're there with Mitsula, who is a professional odds maker. And uh, it's March Madness, so it's a very busy weekend in Vegas. You got a lot of people that just post up in the sports books and do nothing but watch and bet basketball the entire oh, day. Oh yeah, you know when we went to our one of our restaurants today because we've been married for twenty four years. Uh, they had uh, they had the bracket, so you could yes. see where everybody was at on the March Madness. So when we're there Friday. Mitsula mentions, oh, you know. Uh, Texas plays today. Oh. And Brian's like, 
Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. I'll just... Wait, uh, as in Texas U- like, yeah, UT? Yeah, yeah, UT Austin. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, is there another... No, the whole state. Yeah. She was thinking the whole state was playing. <laughs> she, yes. <laughs> okay, We're all this is, uniting this is how as much... one team. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, sorry. Can we talk about, like, ball talk? Ball talk is not, like... Not, university ball or like post university do people you want to know what else it's not yeah. important to this story and oh, i'm going okay. to fast forward <laughs> Very uh, good. Uh, awesome. uh, so so uh, uh brian goes and bets the uh uh, uh brett uh, bets the austin or uh, basketball team ut and uh at that point Ooh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Show the camera though. Show the yeah. Uh, shit. So uh, to spoil one moment um, from uh, 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 the Pendulet interview, what uh, <laughs> he's interrupting the ball that. talk. Yeah, I'm we telling the, the story of you story. betting on. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Brian's uh, like, UT has some sweaty balls that I want to <laughs> vote on. Vote yep, on. yep, yep. So yeah, Brian puts money on it and. Uh, uh, there is an element of our friendship that has largely, especially since I've moved here, been based on us going to lunch at Backspin, this restaurant around here, at which I usually sit at the side of the the tables, the high tops that face out toward the street. And Brian, in a very unwise move, considering like he is his predisposition, only, only, only slightly more ADD than I am. Is facing a million televisions, <laughs> just constant stimulus at all times. <laughs> that like, I even know. when he does not give a fuck about sports, he will be transfixed by whatever sporting oh, yeah. talk show is happening, like over either uh, of, of my shoulders. But now that he actually had money on it, he was actually paying attention oh. to the game and watching and living and dying on every basket that was being made in this March Madness game the entire second half. Things I have never done in my entire life. Uh, I got to be that guy at the restaurant who asks if one of the TVs can be changed over to the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. This, I can tell this is doing it for you. <laughs> shot anniversary. Wow. Uh, also, in a totally quiet restaurant, I got to be the guy that goes, Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So how did that feel? It was great. Oh, it was great. Good. I was yeah guy. But we it's been a happy 24 years. <laughs> uh, I mean, and on that run. note, we almost it was made a good it. Run. Run. It's time for Bonnie's bachelor. Yeah. 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 Might time, be a different sort of bachelor. Time for bachelor reparations. Yeah. Right. This is true. That's right. Uh, uh I, I could definitely tell that that there was sort of this vibe of um, you know because like once once I had placed a bet, uh, it was suddenly a different thing, and so it's like I'm checking on my phone, and and Justin and Jacob are are chatting, and I'm like uh, I'm like uh, it's it's seven to five, and Justin's like too soon, bro, <laughs> like like uh, it's, it's like you're you're three but minutes. What I, in. But what I didn't realize <laughs> is that like so this is the next day we so Texas wins. Brian cashes in, becomes an undefeated sports. What? Uh, oh yeah, what? no, no. There was a brief moment that I had the, I was the world's only perfect predictor of March Madness <laughs> games. Oh, I believe uh, it. So at that you moment, have at that there. moment, yeah. 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 So two days later, I'm like, hey, you know, Texas has played again. And he's like, well, let's mosey on over to the sports book and place a little wager. So we do walk on over, put some money down. And then we have to go fuck off to do the pen podcast. And yeah. Do... You know, yeah. fucking off doing the reason that we went to Las Vegas. The reason Vegas. that we were there yeah. for. Yeah. And now, so... did that make you money? That's what I got to know. I mean, we'll find out. We'll find so out. Uh, <laughs> after we do pen Sunday school and ice cream social, uh, then we're hanging out with Jacob on ICS and, and we're like, oh, let's go get food. So, long story short of us uh, that Las Vegas was very suspiciously hungry for sushi 
uh, on a Sunday afternoon we to, because we, we went, went to, to like two three places all around. Yeah. And all of them had 40 minute waits. And I'll bet you could guess how excited all three of us were to yeah, wait like, 40 minutes for well, sushi. This is, than this is a thing. Ducci. That is like, yeah, <laughs> that's like fish in the desert. <laughs> that is nasty. Yeah. Yeah. That's, too far, from that's, that's nasty. Vegas, Vegas yeah. is the only, too far from the coast. Yeah. Vegas, Vegas yeah. is the only city where you can make an exception considering how much the distribution for like all these high-end restaurants. I mean, and happen. really, frozen, frozen. If fish is frozen uh, correctly, no, no, no. it's fine. See, so, uh, this is the beauty of being Ooh. friends with Chris Minton. Mm. When you are friends with Mitzula, he sa- explains stuff like the other day. The chef came out and said, "And to think, this was swimming in Sea of Japan this morning." And the guy's mm. from Detroit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, are, are you saying I, 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 I yeah. colored my uh, delivery yeah. on that? Okay, all right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're driving to all these restaurants, and every moment, Brian, like fucking Rain Man, is on his phone. <laughs> And it's, it's just the like, world's dumbest Rain Man. It's just like, oh like imagine God. if Rain Man didn't actually count, but instead just read numbers. Yeah, he's like five, yeah, seven to six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely seven. He's to just six. like, he's just like six point up. It's That's been seven a good point twenty four years. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and so Brian, or, uh, uh, Jacob and I are trying to tell Brian, like, oh hey, God. look, especially college basketball, like. Don't pay attention until the final three minutes. Like right. that's that's really the only time that it really matters. But what I didn't realize at the time was that's fucking very shitty advice to give to Brian, who's literally only there for the endorphins that he can watch the random number generator spit out. Exactly. And wh- whether or not it's the raw numbers or the skin is a bunch of 18 to 20 year olds trying to shoot a basketball in a hoop. That's like, what his grandma was into. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> she liked that part of the game. She's like, mm. yeah, yep. I mean, she nope. had the games it's, on. It's, it's, it's she had the oh. games on. We don't need to go into that. But no, yes. is, was... is this a, is this a long standing story? <laughs> yeah. uh, she always had the basketball on. She, she yes. did. Yeah. She, because she, she enjoyed Looking at Physically. the bodies of yeah. the people playing the basketball. Yeah. yeah. She should have watched more she, college wrestling. She, she, she was on. I mean, maybe. Just well, let's saying. not get gross. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keep it tasteful. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but the. Uh, 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 so so uh, uh, you are correct in that I measure success in betting in number of minutes of joy caring about yeah. a thing, right? Ah. So it's like. Uh, so. Uh, I understand the wisdom of like, hey man, you already placed the bet. Who cares? It's yeah. like, dude, I'm not investing. If I was investing, I would not be gambling in Vegas. Sure. You know? I'm here for the joy. I'm here for the story. And uh, that is something that is so fascinating to me. Like when I sit down at the blackjack table, that money is spent and it's gone. Yeah. Right. yeah. And and I think it genuinely confuses people when I uh, let's say I place a twenty five dollar bet and then I split. And then I double down and then I do the side bet of the easy bus because there's a six showing and everything looks like I'm going to win. And, uh, uh, and, and so now all of a sudden there's a hundred dollars on the table and then I lose like the, the real guffaws that are coming from me are a hundred percent genuine. And I, I don't think people understand that I don't care that it's my money that is gone. Yeah. What I care about is that was a, Fucking great story. That was amazing. And uh, uh, it seems to upset people. Mm. You're doing it. Well, well, Blackjack. Well, yeah, yeah I don't know. The, the, we, we definitely, Asshole Blackjack did not have the financial rewards that it has. We got one. Past. We got one. We got, we, one. Got, we got one. We got one asshole. But otherwise, oh, mm. oh, yeah. Asshole Blackjack uh, did annoy the right people. Mm. Oh, I still feel good. that we're on the right side of history with asshole blackjack. Yeah. I think some of your the our, our friends in the audience don't necessarily uh, agree. They're one of them. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's true. If we were at the table, <laughs> that's I, true. I, would, I hope we would annoy you uh, yeah. uh, because <laughs> you need to have this behavioral element broken. That like this is anything other than a random number generator, and that that was your card or whatever. Like these are these are false. Gods that you are praying to, and, so, and you so, need to repent. Uh, I, I I realize that part of the appeal to asshole blackjack is really, it's imagine podcasting to a captive audience that cannot leave 
because you are spending money to trap them there and you yeah. get to tell myths and legends of, about everything <laughs> and they cannot stop you there was, there was one moment of failed improv at the blackjack table oh, no where one just... moment only only the <laughs> only one, one. <laughs> one moment. well one moment of truly spectacularly failed improv there are plenty of moments where, where we're trying to be obnoxious that it doesn't matter whether anybody's <laughs> laughing but i'm having a good time but there was one moment where this lady is sitting next to me and she's betting two hands which is allowed to do it's not wrong uh but uh but i just lean over i'm like uh so it's a, it's a full table full table she it's her there's an empty chair there's Wait, justin I and i hear justin lean over with real concern in his voice and say um so uh you betting for a ghost <laughs> There's more. There's more. There's more. Uh, uh, what uh, what kind of ghost is it? Like a Victorian pirate? <laughs> and at this point, like I know he's making the wrong decision. <laughs> But but like like a dog chasing a car, yeah. I find my mouth muttering, maybe it's a cybernetic implant. <laughs> <laughs> to which this woman said, "Oh my God, this look! Go. I wish you could see this expression from my angle. You got to turn it to the camera." Yes. <laughs> this woman said said literally nothing. She left. <laughs> You just fucking no. left the table. <laughs> you got her to no She <laughs> just no. was like, I'm not here for the fucking weird ghost talk. Like, get the fuck out of here. Me and my ghost, and I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the ghost like, said, pack your, your shit, and we're leaving. Yeah, or she's like, by the way, cybernetic implant. <laughs> How do I go? <laughs> So here is a, a secret that I discovered this past trip uh, that I think is fundamental is I've discovered that pretty much nobody gets upset when you unironically cheer for the dealer. Yeah. Learn their name. Learn how to properly pronounce their name. Learn yep. where they're from, how long they've been around and all that stuff. And then – Whenever anything good happens, social security lead, yeah. <laughs> well, lead, uh, you're, like, you're like, you're like, May, May, hooray for May. She is the best every single day. May. <laughs> and then they're, they're all, they go, oh, you, Yo. what are you doing? Your kids or whatever. And then you throw tips and stuff. And then, uh, and then at, at some point, uh, and it actually happened, uh, t uh, uh night before last, uh, <laughs> There got to be this moment where somebody became jealous of how much fun we were having, and where it's like, we got blackjacks, yes we do, we got blackjacks, how about you? We got more! And they're like, no, we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering if we could get kicked out of a casino because we were just causing too, too much of a ruckus. Yeah. Yeah. Just having too much I don't fun. think so. I think that we'd be able to get away with a lot. Yeah. I mean, if it's good natured, and I mean, if, like, you're if, spending, not, like, if you're losing money, they don't care. I mean, if yeah. you're losing the money and you're good natured and well, you're not really, causing they, fights, I mean, like, if, we're, if we're winning money, that's even better for them. You yeah. think? Because we're going to be loud and winning uh, money, and everyone's going to be like, "Oh, oh this there's is a the chance place where you win money." Yeah, there's yeah. a chance. Yeah, maybe that's my mistake. Is when I laugh maniacally as I lose hundreds of dollars, they're all like, "Well, we get the best of all worlds. Yeah. <laughs> we get his money, and he's clearly having a good time." <laughs> this man is yeah. fucking having. A blast! Oh my god! We're, we're succeeding as a entertainment entity. Uh, three minutes, green room. Three minutes. Thank you, cool. three. Very good. Uh, Very good. But yeah. So, uh, what, what what do you think of uh, the your new look husband? Uh, the sports better. Oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so awesome! So glad you haven't watched the recent episode. Oh yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> No, I go, I go and tuck in. It's okay. My, uh, Mike TV won the uh, won the game. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. So, what did these boys had to have? Yeah. To do? Uh, by the no, way, so, we're somebody, not punishing somebody, so much anymore. Oh, some, okay. Somebody on Twitter was like, uh, I think uh, Mike TV is an energy vampire, and it's like what? I don't think you understand how energy no. vampires work. Yeah. They, no, they take energy. Mike TV gives you energy. Yes. Yeah. That is derived. Mm -hmm. 
from the sustenance of the blood of virgins that, yeah. right. who that's, he he's prayed. a traditional vampire. Yeah, yeah. No, he that's why he's the life of the party. A cheerful, a I cheerful yeah. virginal uh, eating. Mm. Um, eating. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're back. Now we're back. Okay. Now we're back. Yeah. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> so... No, ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, uh, man, I feel like we covered a lot of ground on yep. that. Yeah. Uh, I think go. we wrapped it up. We, uh, I think we uh, fixed we, it. We, 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 we invented bachelor reparations. reparations. Yes. I bachelor agree. Reparations. I'm all on board. I think Rachel and I and yeah. gonna happen. I deserve it. I, I think deserve so. it. I think you do deserve it. Although yes. you're not going to fucking do the bite. No. 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 I just wanted to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> thank, no. thank They're just trying to be on. impressive. I just maybe go to bed early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. And then I, I was, I'm sorry. Oh, the steak was there. I just, <laughs> it was just. That's what I That dick say. steak was There's so good. There's a reason I why you can't. don't go do steak. It's too heavy for the bike. Exactly. I, know. The it's just too I need the Vegas sushi. That would actually be an amazing Craigslist listing is wanted eight uh, powerful men to pedal uh, in this pub crawl, so yes. I don't have Who to. Who need to be an eight or above? Yeah. <laughs> an eight and or you, above? And you yeah. just sit oh, back. Like on the, yeah. on the and then, lux category. Yeah. And everybody's yeah. hustling. Eight, oh eight eights or above to oh. pedal bike. <laughs> yeah. And you guys will just serve them drinks <laughs> uh, or, or just stand in the middle while they Wait, serve drinks. Why are you drinks. we serving so, drinks? Here we Because you don't have to pedal. So in oh, Florida, oh, they have I the see. boats. And then you just sit on the boat and drink. And they just tutor you down the, the river and you just drink and you got the canopy still. And they got know. booze cruises here in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. The they've got like some I duck. Want to be in the ocean. All right. Some wow. duck. Some I'm duck so glad thing that there's that another Florida snap here. This is fucking great. <laughs> yeah. I, I've, I've, had, I've, had, I've had to hold back my true self for okay, so one, long. One, one last question, because I asked this to yeah. Justin and he was not impressed, but I, I thought it was pretty cool. Bonnie, Bonnie uh, uh, got some special soap that has a bit of sulfur in it. Uh, and and uh, uh, I, I grabbed it and I started using it and suddenly the water I was transported to Central Florida. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop it! Because That's not ours. You are going. To, yeah, exactly. You said Florida to me, and she had the same reaction that I had <laughs> when you said Florida, it, which Central. is Central Florida. Okay. All right. Yeah, you said Florida. No, what, no, no. Uh, by the way, I stand behind that because South Florida because does not claim that fucking sulfur bullshit. Pan, panhandle <laughs> yeah. is uh, Fort Walton Beach and all that stuff. It it's all the same. Took me until I was in college before I learned that I was from the South. I had no idea that I was from the South until I went to college. <laughs> Y'all don't have weird water. <laughs> well, where's the weird I water? I was just like part of you don't New York. Have weird just water? Down. Yeah. Just down. Just like Southern New York. Southern New York with yeah. more Cubans. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. Mission Control. But the same amount of Hello. Jews. Yeah. <laughs> Take us out, sir. All right. Thank Bye. you so much, Green Room. Thank you so much, Green Room. See you later. Woo! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night Pre Show. Uh, green Room, Great Room thing. Everybody's waving. Hi, everybody. All right. Uh, hello, and uh, welcome back. I'm joined with Corey Cranfill. Hey. Hey. There we go. Hey, hey there he is. Uh, uh, the. Uh, well, let's do some birthdays very quickly. We did get one. Uh, G. James B.'s mother's birthday was on the 16th. She turned 91. Holy That's smokes. incredible. Happy birthday. And that is a, an accomplishment. Yes. That's a great accomplishment. Good run. It is. Uh, so it's time for a little bit of critical racing theory. Oh, man. Our podcast within a podcast. What a race. What a race. So we had Bahrain. The Bahrain uh, Grand Prix started the season. Yep. And... I don't think you could ask for a better race. No, uh, you know that the whoever the bosses are at at uh, Formula One yeah. were very excited. They were very excited. There's not, I don't think you could script a better race. I I don't I don't think so. I mean, not much. I mean, you there were you there could, was but there was a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you had had some team dynamics. Yep. You had people looking at the at the engines, and you had some DNFs and some mechanical. Like you had a little bit of everything, and it was it was exactly what we needed. You had a little tighter race, well, a little bit more passing up front. Yeah, that I don't think would have happened last year uh, for midfield. The the moment for me was uh, Charles and Max fighting for three consecutive laps. Yes, that was nasty. That was incredible, and Charles. He had it. He knew what to do. He yeah, knew to he duck back and get that DRS. Yep, he did. Um, uh, it, it was great. It, I think it, sh it seems like it helped. The regulations are helping shake things up. Yep. Uh, the new engines, which are fro which are frozen, 
have shaken things up. Your call of Ferrari. Yeah, baby. Is gr- In fact, Chris, who uh, put together our, our prediction stuff, sent us an email saying that Corey is at six points. And I'm at four points. I don't exactly know how he's doing it, but I, don't I know, but I like it. I like I like <laughs> where he's doing his math there. And also, uh, last week we announced that uh, we're doing the F1 fantasy yes. game on uh, the official one. Yep. And so I- we opened up the diamond paddock. Yep. Uh, you can put up, I think, two or three teams. Mm-hmm. I put up a couple of teams. Two teams, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, how did you How did you feel about your teams? Okay, so I was very excited three quarters the way through the race <laughs> maybe, maybe even 80 or 90 percent way through the race i was like i had like text messages uh, mm-hmm. typed up I, I knew better to send them yeah you, but i was very excited i had them typed up like i'm fixing to dunk on bryce so much <laughs> you know i'll say my oh man i was so close my dad fell into that trap a little bit because he was like oh man you know what? Hey, it's a good race for Checo. He loves Perez. He's a Checo yep. fan. And then, oh, like immediately Checo spins out and loses the car. So, yep. um, no, the uh, Red Bulls hurt me uh, terribly. Yeah, yeah. So you ended up in 12th here. You had Pierre, Pierre Gasly. DNF. DNFing mean you lost a good amount of points. Uh, and uh, also Perez DNFing. Oh, right. Yeah, Perez. Um, um, Schumacher not making many points. Norris. I also went with Norris on my main points team. I got with two DNFs. That's like, right. And Norris was terrible. <laughs> that, that's the word. Between, between Ferrari as your team, which is a strong pick, and Charles Leclerc, who won in first position and the pole position. Yeah. Uh, that was really strong. And the fastest lap. That's right. You had a uh, hundred beat his teammate. And Andy beat his teammate. All of, all of that stuff counts in, in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ended up 180 points in 12th place. <sighs> my joke team, my hunks of the paddock only team, um, where I only picked the hot guys, yes. <laughs> somehow is in eighth place. Yes. <laughs> and like, it is above my normal team, my regular team. Your regular team is having a hard. Is it 25th? It's it's real bad. I I leaned on Norris as my two yeah. times driver and McLaren and McLaren as my team, which got me no points. Oh, I'm, by the way. I'm so sorry for your team. It is. Um, it's a. It's a very. Uh, you know what? I'll say this. Okay. Because I think I'm. I think I'm wrapped up in some of the splashed uh, effects of this. But yes. I think during the race, I feel like no one wanted to say it. Mm-hmm. I think no. None of the broadcasters. None of the racers certainly wanted to say it. But you could feel a lightness in the paddock and everyone's like not just because there were like upsets and some big yeah. changes, but. I think you, I think people were, I think this was like a perfect storm between current events and starting a new sports season. Yep. Uh, it, you know, the, I don't think, so I've said this before, I mm. don't think it was totally fair the way Nikita Mazepin was taken out of the league. I think it is a net good, but I don't think it's super fair. I think Haas was, uh, very excited might be the wrong word. Um, but they were very excited to have a good excuse. Absolutely. I, I think they were looking to get rid of him and could not have found a way to do it. And walked into a perfect one. Correct. Yeah. And they were like, whew, thank goodness, because that sorry sucker was terrible at racing and possibly yeah. a terrible human. Yeah. Well, and, you know, the Haas team, Gene, Gene Haas, has many race teams, yep. has money to support race teams. Correct. And uh, uh, I think you, uh, it, you could tell from him when when they lost their title sponsor and their pay driver that uh i don't know maybe he he could read the future or maybe he just knew a better handle on the situation but uh the report is that he put in a bunch of extra money to replace yeah uh, to replace that earl collie money and uh it's we've america's team is back baby yeah, babe. <laughs> so excited magnuson oh my, oh my gosh yes and then uh uh but but then also Michael Massey, yep. who was the race director last year, mm-hmm. has been uh, let go from that position. Correct. There are two yeah, folks he, who will be... He got s- moved into a new position. They're looking for a new spot for him in the FIA. Yeah. But he, he his spot will now be taken over by two people shifting duties, and then they've got a virtual... Re- what is it? A virtual replay center, a remote replay center where they can look at a hundred camera angles at once. Yep. Cause that was the crazy thing last year was them was finding out like, Oh yeah. The race control. They only like look at the broadcast and they look at like one of the car cameras. Yeah. They're just waiting for the broadcast to replay it. Right. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> and so, uh, uh and, and so, so I, I think 
people were also like there were hiccups with the officiating there was questions about uh, track limits a little bit any of that. um are you talking about this race or the in this race during qualifying okay. there were a couple of questions of like did yep but uh, i think all of that ended up not being a thing um but i th i think between between nikita kind of being gone and michael massey being gone which i also think was maybe not the most fair but it's it's a very high pressure position he was yeah. in mm -hmm. um I think people were just ready to not have the baggage of all of these things. Yes. They were ready to not wonder about, like, is Michael Massey going to overcorrect? Is, like, what's up with Nikita Mazepin? Like, and also, like, just having it where Mercedes doesn't look like they will easily win everything. Yeah. You know, Hamilton's joy. A little bit of s space. Yeah. At Hamilton on, on the podium, you could tell he was not prepared to be there. He yep. wasn't thinking he would be he wouldn't have been correct he would not yeah <laughs> yes i think all oh, mercedes oh god it, they just they're so good at just collecting points yeah even even on a race where they should not have done well at all mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. still somehow come in third and fourth with a ton of points and you're just like oh man they're so tough to beat because you know they're going to be back and maybe not the next race or two but by the end of the season they're going to be back yeah, I, I would imagine. I, I I will say, I mean, unless they figure out some new way of handling that engine, though, the Ferrari engine is going to be very difficult to beat. It seems. Um, I think what I had read is that some of the new fuel that they're using, the E10 yeah. fuel, which is more ethanol in it. Um, I think you were saying they, they were having trouble because they had not tested it with low fuel runs. Yep. Yeah, uh, Red Bull did not test it on low fuel runs. Uh, other teams did, and other teams found problems uh, somewhere in the fuel system. Uh, from what I was reading, uh, and, that Red Bull just didn't find, and so that's what basically killed him in the race. Yeah. I need to I need to reread that and make sure that that's still the the story that everybody's telling. Yeah, um, because because even Mercedes, I mean, they they mentioned I I feel like I saw somewhere that like they are figuring out the new fuel, but their customers are a couple of steps even further back, yeah. which is why you saw this the stat going around was like the bottom six racers of the who <laughs> finished. Uh, we're running Mercedes engines, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, that's that's tough. tough. That's some like Renault a few years ago situation. Yep. Um, but I, I think, uh, but I think you're right that like their development is so fast, they will figure it out. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, a fantastic race. I'm really excited for uh, uh, Jeddah next week, this yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, supposedly they have made it a little faster and safer. Yeah. So we'll see. Who, who do you think? Uh, it, I don't think it's interesting who's going to win, but who do you think is going to get pole position this weekend? Do you think it will be another Ferrari thing, or do you think the Red Bulls will pull out? Verstappen. Verstappen. I really yeah. do. I think it'll be Verstappen followed by both Ferraris, then Perez. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, Verstappen is still. He's very fast. He's very fast. Yeah. And I mean, he was Ruben keeping neck and neck yeah. mm -hmm. with with uh, Charles. Yeah. Before, before the, 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 the breakdown. And so, like, uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. really strong. Uh, I think that's probably a dumb decision. It's probably Leclerc again, but... Um, mm. I, uh, I... I think that I think that Red Bull on setup is tough to beat during qualifying. Ask Lewis Hamilton over yeah. the last year. That's true. That's very true. I feel like... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll pick kind of an out there prediction, but I think Carlos... Carlos is really hungry for that. He, he is. In... in I don't know. You, you can always kind of tell how how the racers feel, you know, when they do the ra the interviews afterwards. Yep. You can tell either they're like in a they're like, oh my god, I was so gr I was so glad there, mm -hmm. or they're like, man, you know, we're gonna hit it again next week and come back strong. And uh, for some reason, the person who finished second in that race was really beating himself up. Yeah, I, I don't made, understand that why. That actually made me a little uncomfortable for my Ferrari pick, believe it or not, because I'm like five races in, Leclerc's won four of them. Mm. You know, like, what's that relationship going to be? Yeah. You know, how damaged is he going to be? Hopefully he'll be fine. You know, but that, when I was talking, when listening to him talk, it made me a little nervous. Like, oh, man. Yeah. I hope it, he's okay coming in I mean, for a while. He was second. And it was, I mean, there was a gap. It was, it was a bit of a tear, but it was, it was, a, it was going to be a solid second. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I, I'd like to think that he's going to push himself because of that yeah but but that's why i picked him and push himself into a wall <laughs> all right i believe that's uh all we've got for critical racing yeah, theory thank you Corey. 
and thank you everybody for joining us. We're gonna do our last checks here, but uh, just a reminder, uh, you can, of course, support us, support all this good stuff over on Patreon, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, it's a website where you can give us some money every free, every week or so. You'll get an exclusive bonus podcast every week only for patrons. Subscribe our only Discord channel. You can get email updates and, of course, our famous mega RSS feed with no login required, no authentication in your podcatcher of choice. We love it. Check us out. Patreon.com slash great night. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on a great free show. I'm going to do some last checks here and see how everybody is doing. Uh, Brett, are you good? Hello, friend. Oh, there we go. Justin. Yeah, yeah, you. Brian. What? Corey. Hey. Annalisa. All righty. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here. Ooh, yeah. Everybody get your cracks open. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Ooh, I was. Mm. A little Pepsi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> All right, Brett, are you ready for the intro to the show? I am. All right. I'm going to catch in. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Here we go.